Hi and welcome to the channel. To make a good decision when to use what kind of time stretch algorithm, we first have to look a bit closer what they actually do. The first and most simple one is as old as noise itself. The resample mode or sometimes called tape mode is basically a part of the nature of sound. I have loaded here a three times oscillator producing a single sine wave, which gets triggered by an A note in three octaves. If you render out these patterns and have a deeper look at the waveforms, it gets immediately clear what happens. The same waveform gets played back at different speed. The higher the speed, the higher the pitch. If we look at the frequency chart, it gets clear that each octave step doubles the frequency. Frequency is measured in hertz, which means cycles per second. Back to our sine wave. If we select one cycle of the lowest pitch at one octave higher in the same amount of time, we already got two cycles and four cycles again one octave higher. And if we take the A3 clip and double the length or compress it to the half, we get the same result like the originals. And that's it. This is all what the resample mode does. It does nothing else than stretching or compressing the existing waveform to make it play faster or slower. But this means too that we play the sample at a lower or higher pitch. Pitch and time are firmly linked in this mode. You cannot change one without changing the other two. This we can use to our advantage. The resample mode produces very, very little artifacts as the waveform itself doesn't get altered. This makes it perfect for transposing tonal samples, and because of that, it is a standard mode found in all samplers in existence. But it fails badly as soon as a sample contains rhythmic related information, such as tremolo. or drums as an extreme example. For rhythmical information, we need to unlink the fixed time and pitch relationship of this mode. 